Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Ines Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com, and today I will be talking about how to remove Flickr from video uh, really easy and simple using a plugin called Flickr Free, and the name says it. It actually removes your flickering, just like in this example. my videos be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to make sure that you get notified when I upload new videos. Alright so that looks amazing we have a bunch of flickering going on and applying this plugin just solves it so it's so simple to use and actually I had this problem for a long time I kept on just uh, reshooting things or ignore using some footage that I really liked but it was flickering too much and therefore I couldn't use it. This problem actually occurs um, because of the frequency of the light and the camera. Light has a specific frequency that it is flickering at. It's different in America, it's different in Europe. It depends on the light you're using. A lot of calculation has to be done and yes you can solve this in camera by changing your shutter speed or FPS because these two settings are actually the problem that make this flicker effect. And yes, you can solve that by doing the calculations of the light flickering and then changing your shutter speed on your camera to kind of, um, yeah, um, find an in-between where you don't see any flickering. Um, but honestly, I never did that and you have a bunch of settings that can actually solve it. Um, probably you can solve it in the camera, but sometimes you just come across a video that you have the flicker and you, you're not able to shoot it again and you want to just fix it in post. And honestly, I tried a lot of things to solve my flickering in my video and I never found a solution until now. And it's actually really amazing. Just a plugin that you apply to your footage, you don't need to change a thing if you want to, and it's going to immediately give you great results. Of course, you can tweak it a little bit uh, to make it even more defined, a little bit better. And yeah, it's just amazing. Um, I think they have a version for Premiere too, but this plugin is for Adobe After Effects. So let's see how to remove the flicker. And also something that I really like about this plugin is that most of the time, if you want to solve something from your video, let it be uh, removing noise or uh, being uh, to stabilize your video, it will take a long time to analyze it and then to render it, it's even slower. Uh, but in this case, it's actually extremely fast and I was really surprised by the speed this plugin can uh, work at because sometimes I actually didn't solve my footage because it took too much time to actually fix it. In this case, I just apply it and render it immediately. It's so, so fast. So let's see how to do it. All right, here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro and I will actually select my footage and drag it into a new sequence. Here you can see that my video is really flickering a lot. It really is disturbing me a lot, especially here we can actually see the flickering going on. It's pretty extreme. All we want to do is actually go ahead, right click and replace this with an After Effects composition. In After Effects, it will ask you to save it, so I will actually rename this to Flickr Free and click OK. Now that it is imported in Adobe After Effects, we can see that we have our video footage with a lot of Flickr going on. What I will do is go over here and actually search for Flickr Free. This is the plugin that we will be using, and actually I should write it Flickr Free. There we go. So Flickr Free from Digital Anarchy. Uh, we'll just drag this on our footage and immediately if I will render this and you can actually see how fast it's uh, already rendering, we can see that there is absolutely no flickering going on already. But right here we actually see a preset and this depends on what you're trying to solve. Flickering can occur in any kind of footage. It can occur by the light from your house. It can be in a time lapse when you're outdoor and all the clouds are flying over and sometimes there's sun, sometimes there's not and you get all this kind of flickering in your time lapse. And this plugin actually solves that as well. Uh, if you are in extreme slow motion, uh, even more than extreme slow motion, you can all fix that in this plugin. Uh, as you can see, these are the presets that you can be using, time lapse, slow motion, slow motion, uh, halo removal, super slow motion, that's over, well, almost a thousand FPS. And then the 
rolling horizontal bands. Uh, you can all go ahead and fix that. It's amazing what you can do at this uh, with this plugin. So what I will do is actually just select slow motion. That's all I have to do. You can also play with the sensitivity and time radius. Uh, but in this case, uh, for what I have, it's just not necessary. So let's do a preview and then I will also show you uh, the previous version and the after version. But by just simply applying this plugin, selecting slow motion and doing absolutely nothing else. It's amazing. All right, so that's it, it looks amazing. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give this video a like. Links will be in the description to the plugin and to our website. If you want to check out our website, we have a bunch to offer for filmmakers. And it also helps to support your YouTube channel if you go ahead and buy something from our website. I hope to see you in the next one. Subscribe to the channel for more and goodbye.